Okay, it's on. Christmas is coming. We're planning a party. Come join us now. We don't want to be tardy. You can help us get ready. There's so much to do. We want it to be just right for Jesus and you. This party is special because you will see it honors your Jesus, a best friend to me. First, we put up decorations, trim the tree so fine, silver bells and twinkling lights make our room just shine. What's that we hear outside this room? It's carolers in song. I love to hear the carols sung. I'd listen all day long. Not forget the presents and the gifts to one and all. The packages are brightly wrapped, some great big and some small. These presents are for others whom we love and set apart. The gift I give to Jesus is the gift within my heart.
There is one more important thing we want to emphasize. The Bible tells about the birth. It's right before our eyes. Luke 2, 1 through 14. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, sorry, Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belongs to the house and line of David. He went up there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be, uh, to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord was shown all around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. There, that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Our Christmas can be our Christmas can be merry and filled of cheer and joy all because of Jesus God's precious little boy
Until morning is not Renew me, Lord Jesus I ask Thee to stay close by me forever And love me, I pray Bless all the dear children In Thy tender care And fill
The choir has one more song in just a moment, but we had just a, a bit of a opportunity here to say thank you to Nancy, and the kids had a special gift for her. You're gonna have to stand up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Nancy, we do appreciate all your work and uh, your help. For those of you that I haven't met, I'm Nate Reckling. I'm the pastor here at the Princeton Church. Thank you for coming tonight. We do hope you'll stay and enjoy some refreshments for us in just a couple of minutes. There is a, a theme kind of going through our, our uh, time tonight. It's the themes of a birthday celebration, right? A birthday party, a birthday gifts that are given. And when you think about gifts, there's a verse that comes to my mind often. And it's found in Paul's letter, his second letter to the church in Corinthians. And he just says briefly, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. It's a gift that he couldn't quite figure out how to wrap, right? He couldn't figure out quite how to put all of the pieces, how to say it. He'd been talking about it in the previous verse, and he used a, another word to hear a lot about in churches. And he'd been talking about grace. And in this verse, it's the gift of grace. And when I was in Sunday school, they taught a little definition of the verse of the word grace. Grace is G-R-A-C-E. They turned that into an acronym that says God's riches at Christ's expense. Have you heard that before? That's grace. God sent his son to be born, to be a gift to us, to provide for us things that we could never provide for ourselves. It's, it's a gift. He's our gift, and he brings with us all those things that God wants to offer to us, not because we deserve them, not because we've been good and kind all year long, but simply because he loved us and he wants us to receive his goodness from him. And it starts with forgiveness. Not that we ever deserve to be forgiven, but Christ makes it possible by his sacrifice on the cross. It goes on to talk about help for each day. And not, not because you and I desperately need it, even though that's true, but because he wants to help us. And that's, that's what he sent his Holy Spirit to help with each day for those that will listen and follow. And goes on to include things like his guidance in times of difficulties, his, his challenge in days in which we really don't understand what's going on, but he, he can help. Christ is that indescribable gift. And well, that's what we celebrate at Christmas. We hope that as you've heard the songs and you hear the things playing in the malls and perhaps on the radio, that the gifts of Christmas will bring you to Christ of Christmas and his grace. You see, it's, it's not automatic, but it is freely offered to all who will receive and I hope you've received that gift. And I hope tonight as we finish with our last song that perhaps it will sound even more precious to each one of you.
Merry Christmas. We hope you'll join us all for refreshments.